Hey, y'all. <laughs> I accidentally stopped my video. Damn it. I got to start over. <laughs> All right. This is... I'm going to try to make this quick because y'all know how I am. I went dollar to uh, dollar store the other day because I, I love going there just to see what they got. Well, anyway, I went in there and when I went to Moyot and I seen these little bottles. They're glass. And I, this was the only pack they had. The only one left. And I grabbed it. I said, those are so freaking cute, man. I had to show y'all this. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? Well, anyway, while I was in Moyoc, I seen this place that had some essential oils. And I said, and they were half price. I said, what? So I went ahead and grabbed what I could afford anyway, okay? There was $5 a bottle. I could only get four. I really wanted to buy them all, but you know how that is. Anyway, this one is Caraway, okay? I, I opened it up, and I said, huh, I wonder how it smells. It smells pretty damn good. I said, damn, I should have. I'm really thinking about going back up there and grabbing some more. But this one's camphor, and I love the smell of camphor anyway. That smells good, too. And then this one is Palmarosa. Now, I've not ever had a Palmarosa essential oil. I mean, it smells good. But now I have one. And now, and then this one's, I don't know what that one is, y'all. Can y'all read that? It's a uh, Nio, Nioli. I don't know if this is supposed to be Neroli. And they just spelt it wrong. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Have y'all heard that essential oil? But anyway, I got this one. And it smells pretty damn good, too. I'm still looking for that Christmas scent that I'm looking for, though. But anyway, that's just uh, a little side thing I had to tell y'all. What this video is about is I'm going to read y'all from this book on vinegar. Okay? I know that there are a lot of people know about vinegar, okay? I ain't going to sit there and act like y'all don't, because I know you do. But I want it to U-V-W-X-Y. <laughs> Got to go through my alphabets again. Um, but I wanted to read from this one just right quick on vinegar. Okay, this is what, it's very small, so hang, hang in there, y'all. <laughs> vinegar. Its ruler is Saturn. Um, it's a condiment or preservative. In the magical form is white, red wine, or apple cider. Cider. Okay, apple cider vinegar to bath water or drink a teaspoon a day to prolong your life and maintain good health. Now, my son-in-law drinks a teaspoon of vinegar every day. Use white vinegar in cleansing and purification baths. Red wine vinegar drives thieves away. Add it to floor wash to protect a dwelling. Okay, that's what they have in here on vinegar. Now, into this book, the other book here. Vinegar, all right, because vinegar is a mild acid, it could be an ingredient in a woman's love-drawing douche. But also, as a symbolic opposite of a sweetener, it is used to sour conditions and cause disagreements. Okay, just saying. Four Thieves Vinegar is used for protection because it contains garlic and also to cause confusion and discord among enemies because it is sour okay now what you're going to do is to carry an enemy off you're going to soak your enemy's hairs fingernails and toenails with nine pins in vinegar for nine days before sunrise on the tenth day go out into the woods and bore a hole in a sweet gum tree or a gumball tree or I think they call them witches burrs that tree right there and you're gonna put the pins hair toenails and fingernails deep into a hole cut and carve a plug from the wood of the same tree dip it in the remaining vinegar 
then give it two light taps to drive it into the hole. Now you're not going to pound it in, you're just going to tap it to get it in the hole. Okay. Now come back every morning before sunrise and give the peg two more light taps. So boop, boop, and that's it for nine mornings straight. Okay. And on the ninth morning, you're going to drive the peg all the way in. Okay. This will not kill a person, but it will sour your enemy's life, cause pain, and carry him or her away from you. Okay? To curse an enemy. Four Thieves Vinegar is both protective and destructive. Here it is used to sour an enemy's fortune. Why, write your enemy's name on brown paper with dragon's blood ink and cross it out with a big black X. Okay. Write the name paper, wrap the name paper around a whole dried red pepper and tie it with black thread. Okay. Submerge this packet into a jar of four thieves vinegar and close the jar. For 13 successive nights during the waning moon, burn a black candle dressed with crossing oil upside down on the lid of the jar, always starting at the hour when both hands of the clock are falling. Okay. Example, 1201 to 1229. Or from 101 to to 129, etc. As you light the candle, speak aloud 13 fully justified curses in your own words, such as the name of the person. As God is my defender, may your fortune run out. Name of the person. As God is my defender, may your mind wander and weaken. Name of the person, as God is my defender, may your family abandon you. Name of the person, as God is my defender, may you go to jail for the crimes that you have committed. Name of the person, as God is my defender, may everything in your life that was sweet turn as sour as this vinegar. Okay. Now, up to third total of 13 okay it may help to write it down and rememberize these 13 curses that you're placing okay burn one candle per night letting the wax from each candle build up on the jar's lid and let it melt down the jar okay and you're going to do that stop after 13 days wait out the period of the waxing moon and begin working again when the moon wanes again okay if you feel like you need to do it again just wait until the next waning moon and start up start you know start doing it again all right and that is everything that they have in here on vinegar and i read you from this one so hey we're good to go i checked scott cunningham's book and they have nothing he don't have anything in there about um vinegar so I couldn't go in that one and check it for you. And I don't know if it's in the Native American one. I doubt it, but let me just check for shits and giggles. Uh, let's see. All right, we're going to get there, y'all. U V W U No, they have nothing in this book. They just have, only V they have is Valerian root. So therefore I can't help y'all on that one either. But I tried y'all. I did. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really do. I love y'all so freaking much and I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. And I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I might be getting one here and there, but hey, I'm happy about that. You know, I'm not in this for all 
the big popularity of it. I am just want to share what I know, okay? And if you like what I'm sharing, then that's great. I love y'all for that. And I will see y'all in my next video. Before I go, though, let me let me ask y'all, what do y'all do with vinegar other than what I just read? What What is it you do, whether it's medicinally or magically, whatever you want to write? All right? All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Please be safe out there. You know it. I tell you that from my heart. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Toodles, y'all.